Hey, there we go. Yeah. Man, I barely... First of all, hello. <laughs> I totally forgot to say that. Uh, second off, as I was saying before that, and I interrupted myself, I don't remember what I was doing last time. Because I've had some busy days. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we did a lot of fruit planting. I remember now. And I want to go see if any of those have even started growing. Oh yeah, I've still got a part of an axe too. Mammoth skull, I don't remember. Amber, I'm pretty sure we have that already. Ooh, the torso of the plesiosaur. Okay, sweet. So that one's new, because we have the neck and the skull. Oh, that might be the end of it, actually. Emmy figure, I don't really care. Don't care about that at all. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is it? Mammoth skull. And amber. I did not want to, and that's the place you have so. Alright, I don't... I really don't remember if we had the mammoth skull. I'm pretty sure we had the torso, but I don't know if we actually finished it or not. Sorry, I mean, I, I didn't notice that he, like... Did it happen out here, too? I guess, I think it's just the camera in the house. The camera in the house makes it look like he, he like, drifts a lot longer. Quality of life? Like, what do you mean? Free modern cabinet for anyone who finds it. Very limited. T acres. Hurry up. Maybe gone. That was today. It was still morning today, so. Sweet. The D acres. Okay, so. Here. Yeah, that would be that would be really nice. Uh, they kind of did that with uh, they put a billboard outside of the museum, and you would just have to like look on the little billboard outside real fast before you went inside the museum. But it would be cool if they had like a little like museum journal or something that just like kept track of that. Cherry tree. There's Nancy's house. The D acres are like the lake and adjacent. Okay, that one's growing. Planted them all over the place, so. There we go. Nothing there. But yeah, I just got off a really long shift, so I'm sorry if I'm. I don't want to say low energy necessarily. I'm sorry if I'm just really comfy. And maybe not as like talkative as I usually am. I'm sure it'll get there in a minute. I'm just I'm really I'm really feeling this couch right now, and it's just it's just comfy right now. There we go. Did anyone else move in? Cleo, Missy, Allie, Jane, Bob, Ava. Cobb, Tank, and Anchovy. Oh yeah, Chief moved out of Forgotten Pate. A bunch of people moved out and no one's moved in to replace them. And Tank remains, which is just salt in the wound. Okay, that one's growing. Pretty sure all of them are growing, because like I said, I, I did the technique of replacing other trees, but... I don't know, I don't put anything past this game with its gardening systems. It's pretty janky. Like, yeah, wait, didn't I plant one up against... Yeah, so I thought, that one is growing. Which I never would have guessed in the wild would grow. Oh, hey. Go. Go. I was thinking about maybe... Um, I want Tank gone for a multitude of reasons. <laughs> but mostly that. And I just don't like him at all. He put a nail in that coffin. I might have built the coffin, but he's the one that drove the final nail in it. 
Ooh, I, I, almost, well, I actually almost didn't see this because it blends in. Oh, Rhett, Rhett Roadway sign. The thing I never keep in any Animal Crossing playthrough. As always, a trash item I find, I'm like, okay, immediately. Oh, oh our next round of peaches, too. Sweet. Oh, I need to go check on the, uh... Uh, by the cop station. I... First of all, let me write these letters. I, uh, planted the golden shovel tree. I need to go see if that's growing. I don't know how to do it. I think I think in this version you have to have a golden shovel. I don't know. They change the rules and how that works. And it also depends on if the shining spot is in a spot that the game allows you to grow, grow a tree in. And I would be a really sad if <laughs> I tried to plant a money tree with 30,000 bells and it just died the next day. And I was like, well, that was a horrible investment. Uh, let's see. Also, sorry about my nose. My allergies are acting up for some reason. I won't let that get in the way, though. Oh, yeah, we got the funky music. I didn't even realize. I was just jamming to it. I guess it is, what, like 11 in the game? Yeah, it's like 11.30. Oh, that means that daylight savings time automatically occurred in this game too, because it was always two hours uh, ahead of me. That one's growing. Uh... Sorry, I don't remember there being two. I remember this rock being here, but I don't remember there being that other rock there. But this is before they implemented the uh, the gym rock. Go away, tank. So, it's just me being stupid. I don't even know what the golden shovel does for you. Like, I, I just legitimately don't know what it does. Other than looks cool. If it's like, if it, if it's like a hard multiplier... Ooh, I like that shirt on him. If it's like a uh, hard multiplier... Am I in the D-squares? I am in the D-squares. Uh... Like, I, sorry, I keep interrupting myself. It was If it was like a hard multiplier to the money rocks every day, that would be amazing. Okay. Well, this, isn't, this isn't the D-squares anymore for the item, but I'm just giving everything a scope out. That's not what I meant to do. There we go. Yeah, but like I said, it, it, it depends on if the glowy spot is in a spot that can grow a tree, period. I know that much. So like, if it's, if it's somewhere that I really don't think it could go, it, it's it's sketchy. Because I don't want to spend 30,000 bells for nothing. If I can get that 60,000 uh, gain from it though, definitely. Yep, 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 come on. Did I? I guess I did get the 10,000, just didn't realize it. Hey, come on, controller. Okay. Oh. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I actually have to look at the beach because the freaking fossils and dig spots can spawn. Oh, jeez. Get out of here. They spawn on the physical sand, like in the water. Which I don't know if in the future games they could do could do that. I know uh I know they can spawn near the beach, like really close to it, but I don't think they can spawn in the physical sand. Okay, that one's ready. And then this should be our final crop of peach trees, the planting around town. And then after that, I don't think we need to plant anymore. We'll have a, like, plethora. 
the nearest cherry tree I planted right there. Okay, good. So that, and then I can plant a cherry tree here. I really, I really am curious what the golden shovel does. Like, I really don't know if it's just an aesthetic thing or if it actually has some kind of in-game effect. I know in New Leaf it does the thing where it makes gems pop out of the rock sometimes instead of money. This one could be a peach tree. We may not have enough axe to do all of these, but it'd be nice if we did. And if we don't, then I'll just sell whatever's left. I never, I never appreciated axes when I was little, outside of just being like a, oh, there's trees in my way. Oh, I saw that. Fuck out of here. Also, I like these cedar trees a lot, but this is too many in one spot. Put the cherry tree here. Okay, well, it's in the final stages, but I'm pretty sure it can break more than three in the final stages. I really, I really am curious, I, I, I bring this up every time and I don't mean to, I'm really curious what it is about this game specifically that causes, that has the controller have the weird drift issue to the left. Apparently golden shovels have a chance of digging up 100 bells and use it. Really? I also didn't know that. Crazy. Or did I, did I have one that was planted? Yeah, there's a baby one up there. And then... This can be a peach tree. Am I still above ground? I am still above, uh, like, the little hill. How strange. Luckily, in this game, the fossil collection section, oh wow, that's fun to say, fossil collection section, <laughs> is so uh, small, you just run into the little room and you can like immediately tell what you have and don't have, because it's not a multi-section room, like it is in some of the other ones. <gasps> hey, it's growing! I've never, I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Huh, strange. I didn't know that. Well, we're on our way to getting it because it's actually growing. By the way, I really like the shade of yellow they used for that. Oh, there's the modern cabinet. Okay, cool. Okay, that's that's another orange tree over there, I think. Um, this one. This one could be a peach tree. Oh, the silver one does it? I thought, does the, does the golden one do it too? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just flat out wrong. Maybe, I'm, it's been a while since I actually played like deep in Animal Crossing. New, not, not, not. Okay. New Leaf, it is called New Leaf. What am I talking about? I was like, no, it's not called New Leaf, no way. I was like, oh yeah, it is. Disappear? I thought so. I thought it was something like that. I know the gem thing was real, because it happened to me all the time in the freaking game. This one could be a peach tree. Oh. 
I believe it does, but I could be wrong. It, like I said, it's been a while since I went hard on that game. I went super hard for a long time on that game, and then I just kind of petered out. That's, that's how it goes with Animal Crossing, though. It, it, that seems to be like what most people, how people, most people play Animal Crossing. The heck? There we go. When I put my hand down uh, from doing a hand gesture while I was talking, I grazed my keyboard. Oh. What was I looking for? <laughs> Tank. Oh, I get out of here, wall cricket. I'm trying to remember where the one... There was one teeny tiny section of trees that was like... I didn't like it still. And I, I think it's down by the river. Let me check real fast. Because I'll be real, if I can destroy this axe now, I'd be happy. Because I have enough fruit trees of all kinds. No, I like that tree by that rock. It looks fine. Is it up here somewhere? Like, I like this area because it looks very wooded. Like a very natural section. Yeah, it, it is. Especially if it's a good luck day for money and you, and you can get double the profit from the bells and then it spits out the rocks. That's the worst. See, I like all these. I might make this a cherry tree, actually. Like, I st Oh, no, there's too many. There's too many already. There's not too many. I just... I don't know. Where was this? Where was the part I was thinking about? Was it this? Because this doesn't really bother me. Yeah, that really doesn't bother me. I guess that was it. Oh, I think that might be one of the last weeds. Although we haven't found all the fossils, so I could be wrong. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I know what you mean. I had that happen a bunch of times. I remember I, I even stopped using my silver shovel and went back to a regular one because I was like, this is annoying. <laughs> Which sucks because the silver shovel is like, yay, it's a special thing. But it, it's, it can really hold you back sometimes. At least it feels like it. Not, not that in New Leaf it really matters because in New Leaf you just go to the island and just catch the giant beetles over and over and over. And it's like the... It's like, only thing that matters. Nice. Well, I know what we can use the rest of the axe for, at least. Uh, when we go to the next town to look for more fossils, we can... Oh, fuck, there's more. When we go to the next town to look at their shop and stuff, uh, I can go ahead and use it to chop down that one area that's, like, obscenely... Overgrown with trees. Make that little travel area a little bit faster and easier to do. Okay, I want, I want to donate the one I know for a fact I don't have. This one. Also, okay, so I'm on my days off now. So I don't have to worry about, like, going to bed for work so I can stream for as long as I want. I... Oh, it, the police story is done. What do you know? Uh, I really don't know if I should start my Pokemon playthrough like I wanted to, or if I should just stream like some Don't Starve or something. Cause dude, I've been in a real, I've been in a real Don't Starve move, mood. Sorry, real deep Don't Starve mood for a while now, and I don't know why. But I also am always in the mood for Pokemon, especially if I can get someone to, to hang out with me while I play. That'd be the best. I've never had that experience of having like someone else who likes Pokemon uh, just hang out casually while we play. 
Oh, we don't have the Mammoth Skull. So, amazing. So we got the Plesiosaur and the, uh, there it is, by the way. It's like a pink one that got their freaking head ganked. That's what this model always reminds me of. Oh, his dialogue changes if you're still inside the museum and wake him up again. That's, that's cool. I still think the only little tiny fossil we're missing is a shark tooth, but I don't know if that's in this version or not. <laughs> the mammoth is complete! I still think it would have been cool if they would have saved the golden shovel. Like, for if you got all the fossils donated. Dude, I just had a, a great slash awful thought about New Horizons. What if you can't get all the fossils on your own island? So you have to island hop to other people's islands and it's the only way you can find them. Like, it, it kind of makes sense because, like, you can't find every, you know, species of fossil in one area. No, I don't have anything else to donate, but cool. That'd be kind of cool, but it really depends on the accessibility of getting around. <sighs> Big yawn, sorry. I'm gonna be keeping that modern cabinet for my basement, by the way, so I need to move that to the back corner. And somewhere out there, there is another, at least, at least one or two more fossils around town somewhere, but... Oh, is that one? No. And I guess I better look in here since I was gone for a little bit. There's something. If it's, if it's free paper, I'd be happy, honestly. Ah, it is! Sunset paper. Is it the exact same one we had before with the palm trees? It is. Sweet. Oh, there's that poster again. I want you! That reminds me of that... That art style for that poster reminds me of that weird... I think it's a GameCube game? Where it's about the... It's about the boy who, like, falls in love with a girl at first sight. And the whole... The whole game is you doing errands for people and kissing them. So that you have enough kissing practice to go up to this girl. It sounds really creepy, but it's like a really weird game. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, I just gotta say, this arrangement is just awful today, buddy. <sighs> she got. Nope, don't want that. That's for sure. I also don't really care about the raffle too much, but I'll, if I find something I like, I'll definitely do it. I just, I'm getting, I don't, I really don't like the idea of just storing tickets forever. A library wall. Oh. Man, that's like an N64 texture that they would just, like, actually post over, like, a big cube to make it, like, an actual bookcase. A diner tile? Nah. Hmm, <laughs> Oh, I forgot, I totally forgot to sell things. Whoops. But yeah, I could do that when I'm out there and I can also invade their their orange supply and go sell a bunch. Oh, which means I can take a bunch of cherries and sell them out there too. Nice. Yeah, like not much. Making money in this ver in this uh, in Animal Crossing original is really rough, man. They, they really made you, like, work to get your house bigger. Mm. <laughs> I always forget about the broom part. I don't, actually, I don't remember what the 12 p.m. music is. Like, at all. Whoa. 
Whoa, no. I almost wrote a letter to someone I didn't want to because of the freaking drift issue. I'm mostly doing this because I know we're going to find at least four out there, but I also wanted literally one more spocket. Spocket. Wow. One more pocket space for three cherries. More. There we go. I don't know why I did that. I just, every now and then I get an urge to just shake an, a random tree. Even when I play New Leaf, I still do it. Even though I know there's... Well, in New Leaf, catching bees is like... Oh, I saw that. Thought you could hide from me. No, sir. Uh, in New Leaf, there's like zero threat from bees. As long as you have a net and you know how to use the quick button system, bees are the easiest thing to catch. In this version, there's some repercussions because... Well, there's also medicine in New Leaf that you can take. And you can also get medicine from villagers if your friendship's high enough. So, like, healing your eye is no problem. But in this game, it's like, nah, if you get stung, you deal with it until you save and quit. And it's really... I don't want to say janky, but it's definitely challenging to catch bees in this version. I think I'm only caught in two... Two or three out of the in, like entire bunch of bees that have gotten me. Take care, farewell, Alvita said goodbye. I am a monkey, I'm wearing a cool hat. Yes, no, it is quite fashionable. Again, I don't know where that song is actually from. I know the scene it's from. I've seen the scene, but I don't know what it's from. Hey, wait, Rover's not there. Is this gonna be uh, Blanca for the first time? Or is the game just gonna send me without any anyone to talk to? No, I hear someone, yeah, it's Blanca. No face, Lieutenant Dan. Yeah. All right, here we go. They took this feature out of the other games because people were drawing naughty things. And Nintendo was like, oh man, that sucks. Whoops. Hey, come on, uh, controller. Okay, this is actually the worst with this drift issue. <laughs> it stretches it stretches it out way too far. Stretches out too far. I didn't, even, I didn't even put the eyes that wide on the little sphere, the uh, little circle they gave me for the texture. I was actually specifically trying not to stretch it out too far. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. Well, there definitely are more oranges. Oh, more free paper. 
And what's this shirt? New spring. I think that's like the. I think the new spring shirt's like the flowery one. Uh, there's a bunch of flowery shirts, but. Oh, weed. Oh, yeah, this area needs a little bit of help. I, literally, as long as I can pass the trees, I don't really care in this town. But that was impassable from certain angles. So that had to go. Do that. Same with this. This one. This one's gonna be cleaned up a bit. It'll also look slightly more aesthetically pleasing too, which is always a plus. Mm. But definitely, once I get more games in my like under my belt, I don't want to say under my belt. Once I get more games started, I think that's a really good idea. Is to have Animal Crossing as like basically like the warm up to get my, like, flow of consciousness going. And then I roll into the other games that are more content-based. Yeah, I think this one's gotta go. It's probably the end of the axe, though. Hey, no, what do you know? One more. At least one more. Uh, I'll save it. That's fine enough for right now. I'll save it for if I find like another big group of like super close together trees. Like that's pretty bad right here. Wow. Wow, that's bad. And this has two uses in it. I know what I want to do it with it. If it's just one, I'll deal with it here. But okay, it has two uses. Good. Clear out that one and this one. There it goes. I was, I was also doing that because I really wanted to free up an inventory space from the axe. <laughs> I'm basically just making up excuses to use the axe, but that area was pretty bad. If I didn't have to download the VODs and then edit them and then re-render the entire VOD lengths, I wouldn't mind just keeping... Oh, there, uh, Gabby, right? That's her name. Maple, Maple, Filda, Tom, Chief moved here, which is cool. At least he's still around. Butch moved here, which is cool. You, you see what I'm dealing with, right? The controller drift is out, out of this world. Darwin. Also, the axe would have came in handy here, since I'm going to be making a lot of direct routes right to the shop a lot. Maybe he's selling one. He is not. But, I can sell my cherries. Not for very much, but I can sell them. But again, what 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 in my mind is not very much in this in this game's economy is a good bit. Wait, I what am I doing? I need that because I still need to find the money rock in this town, and I still need to get the fossils if I find any. Mm -hmm. I might just. Oh, it's my it's 9 p.m. theme. That's my uh, stream ending soon music because it's it's a really good track it's like some of the best wind down music ever uh i i i hesitated on saying ever but i really think it is like some of the best wind down like relaxing time Get out of here again i don't really care about this town that much but if i happen to see weeds i will pick them like that one Sorry, I know me singing over is probably ruining it, but I don't know. It's nice. Oh, there we go. There we 
go. Sweet. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I, I, I know that if I leave the holes, they'll just disappear because, like, the, the rendering distance and all that. It just makes me feel better when I fill them in. I don't know why. But yeah, Chief is a night owl, so he would be like this. This would be like the prime time to talk to him. But, eh. Butch as well. Butch is also a night owl. I think there's some of the only. I think night owl night owl characters are like the only guys that are out and about at like 2 a.m. in the morning for people who have like really late schedules. And if you're like me, when you were a kid, you stayed up until like 2 o'clock in the morning, just playing games in general, and you're like, I'm gonna play Animal Crossing now. And then like all the villagers who weren't out as much during the day are all walking around, you're like, oh cool. Which I know is the whole point of the system, but I don't know. Yep, get rid of that. Did I find? I have not found a single fossil. I could have swore. No, no, I was back in my town. I found one by the post office. Okay, I don't know why I thought. <sighs> I found one already. This music's too good. It's making me tired. <laughs> it's making me sleepy. Oh, there we go. Mad mod money. Got it. I kind of wish they had the badge system so that because it does feel good to get rewarded for picking weeds because uh, I know for a fact you have, you have to pull a lot of weeds to get like the biggest badge but uh, I don't know oh oh that'd be cool too if they uh, expounded upon the the badge like the Boy Scout badge system in New Leaf but they made it like way more extensive in the new one That'd be cool. I didn't even think about that. Please, game. Oh my god. It's like way worse than it's ever been. Usually it's really bad for a little bit and then it calms down, but it's just like really strong today. For whatever reason, this game just refuses to be played. It'll, it'll boot up and it'll run just fine. But... By golly, if it won't fight the controller, tooth and claw. I might need to make a yawn counter. Because I, I, I know for a fact, it, this happens all the time. Anytime I get relaxed, I yawn a lot. When I'm at a doctor's office, when I'm in a waiting room, uh... You know, any, anything like that. If I'm in a waiting room, if I'm in like a school library or a regular library, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, I'm going to be yawning. There's going to be yawns going on just from the atmosphere. Like even right now, it was silent because I went away from the mic, but I just yawned again. But you know what? That's just, that's just the vibes that Animal Crossing bring with me. I'm going to be real. Whoa, it's a big fish. Oh wait, they, they don't have the far cast. Shit. And there's, oh, there's a bridge right down here. Okay, wait, maybe it won't despawn. Might just be the angle, but it definitely looks like a big fish. Okay, there's one of those too. That's easy to remember, it's right down there. Oh, there it is. That's a big fish. Might just be a barbel steed, which would suck, but uh, the lake fish are different from the river fish in some cases. Oh. Come on, you dog botch. Get caughted. Nope. I don't know if there are silver. Oh, shh. here we go. There's no sound because I gotta watch. Oh, you tricky trickster. Got you. Too bad it's a barbel steed like I imagined it was. All right, you can go. Every time, every time I see a big fish, I'm like, "Oh, it's a big fish!" 
it's always a barbel steed. But I don't I don't know the fishing in this game, like the, the fish catalog in this game as much as I do in the other ones, because I know that this has like the large bass, the small bass, the regular bass. Uh, things that they tweaked and changed in the later games to make it more like species and less just like size variants. Oh, that was the. Uh, I thought that was someone mad in the distance, but that was just the one bubble sound effect from the stupid fountain. Okay, nope. Check the beach. I already got the money rocks, so I don't need to hit those. I don't think the centipede exists in this version, so. Oh. Almost missed that. So I don't think the hitting the rocks at night matters. Let's try to get the the centipede to pop out. I might double check that, but I'm pretty sure the centipede didn't appear until Wild World, I think. I already have the pill bug. And I definitely know the uh, house centipede is not in this game either. Oh, here we go. You and you. Okay, so there should only be one more fossil around. Maybe two if the game did the five gin for some reason. I, don't, I really don't know why sometimes it generates four and sometimes it generates five. It's real mysterious. Check up here. These little thin strapples of land. Strapples? I don't know what word I was trying to say there. I guess strips, maybe? I was going to say thin strips of land. No idea why I said strapples. Although that's a fun word. It's a fun word that doesn't exist. Uh, you know what? I might as well check in here. Is it just paper? Yeah, it's just paper. I don't need. I don't need any more paper right now. Uh, I will try to remember that though next time, so I don't buy paper when I come here, or if I come here again. To this other town. Gosh dang it. Come on. That's why I hate having trees. Oh, like, yeah, I need to get an axe and start thinning out some of this. I don't really care about it being aesthetically pleasing. I just want to be able to run wherever freely without running into walls of trees. Like this. This is a wall of trees right here. I can't, physically cannot go around that corner. Because there's four trees that, five trees. No, this, there's a gap there. It's four trees that are all planted all closer together oh you you exist thousand bells I read on the wiki apparently that could be ten, that could be 10,000 or even 30,000 bells really rarely I don't think I've ever found it more than thousand bells like ever so it must be really rare okay that's where my shovel went there we go this weird uh, faux 3D system they got going for like the overhead view, I guess just makes like inclined physics really weird. Ah, oh, there's Mathilda. And I've already been all around here, so I don't need to really worry about it anymore. Uh, yeah, that's, I think that's all of them. What I guess I could do is, while I'm here, grab a bunch of these. They're not worth much, but any pocket money at this point. Oh, what am I talking about? Ah. Ah. Drop. Three, six. I'll drop this one, too. Oh, conks. Uh... Oh, well, well, whatever. I'll keep these two and sell them at the shop. But I, I can need to grab these oranges because they're worth more in my town. It's the same way as I brought my cherries over here to sell. I can bring these oranges back to mine and sell. Not for a huge chunk of chank, but... Chunk of chank? Why did I say that? Not for a huge chunk of change, but definitely some pocket money to run around with. Three. Uh, I can't hold three more, so I might, I might end up eating one. Or heck, maybe I'll even plant it. 
Although it doesn't matter because I can't. I can only bring so many home back. And I don't feel like taking the train back and forth constantly <laughs> on harvest days. I think. Oh, no. I was going to say, I think I picked all of these already, but we'll see. I definitely did not. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Alright, well, let's buy the train station so it's easy to remember. I'm gonna go sell these dang seashells I kept for inexplicable reasons. Because I don't think they're worth much at all. <laughs> let's see, let's see. What you got, Nook? Yeah, I get rid of that. Oh, the, oh, really? 350 each is not bad, actually. Okay, so doing seashell runs daily might be not a bad idea, come to think of it. I didn't think- I thought they would be worth like 80 each. I guess maybe that's only in the new ones. Maybe in the new ones they toned it down. I'm gonna pick one up when I run by so I can leave that space there. If I really wanted to, I could bring a bunch of cherries here and plant a bunch of cherries in like a big orchard and then just have this be like a once a harvest every now and then run back and sell them all down here. Oh, wait, wait. Almost did the thing I didn't want to do. There we go. Wow. Someone downstairs. Okay, so we live in an apartment complex so the apartments touch and everything and... Uh, we have like garages under us and then you walk up a flight of stairs and then you're help you're, that's where you live uh the next door neighbor just slammed their garage their car door in their garage and i physically felt my floor shake they must be pissed off <laughs> that was crazy <laughs> Thank you for your patience. I guess we're running the rover. I don't know who else you can run into other than Blanca and Rover on the train. I guess nobody. I guess they just figured people wouldn't be traveling on different memory cards that much back then. Oh, I just realized because I'm looking I'm looking at chat with uh Streamlabs. Uh Streamlabs OBS, so I can't see my own BTB emotes. That sucks. I might just have to pull up uh pop out chat from now on, just place it over that so I can see them. I forgot I even had those. I need to I need to tweak those. Also, Mike, I know you probably know this, but I didn't, Angelo, I didn't know this for a long time. If you have BTTV uh, emotes, you just type it out, and if you don't know if it's, uh, <laughs> if you don't know if it's spelled right, you just press tab, and it'll auto-complete it to the right spelling. Which I didn't know. So whenever I do, like, uh, Peepo uh, Vroom Vroom or anything like that, if I don't remember the specific capitalization, I just press tab, and it does it for me. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, it's me again. You say this exact same thing every single time, Rover. tab uh i think you have to go into the little setting okay so on, on twitch chat there's that little gear icon down there when you have bttv it changes it so that there's actually uh bttv settings in there and there's a there's a thing that's like it, the description is like uh 
It's like prioritize emote correction over finding player names with tab, and that's what does it. From what I remember. Now we're in my actual pretty town. Oh, it's a 12 p.m. music. Is this, wait, is this the one that has the cat meowing in it? There's one hour song that has like a bunch of cat samples in it. I don't remember if it's that one. I don't think it is. It might be 3 p.m. I'm thinking of that has the cat. Hey, 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 Troy, calm, your de calm down. There we go. Oh, I'm not even touching the controller. There we go. Or I'm not touching the joystick, I should say. When that happens, I don't, I really... I really don't know what it is about this one specific game that does it. it. It's the oddest thing, I swear. Uh, before I go and mail those off, I'm gonna go drop off my... Whatever the shelving thing was I got. The modern something or other. Oh, it's not even a... So I have a storageable. Okay, well, I'm going to sell that then. It looks cool. And I might do a modern room eventually. But I still have my fruit room I need to complete. I, I keep planning as if I'm going to get all the rooms like you do in uh, New Leaf. And you in actuality, you only get three rooms per house. <laughs> so I got to pick my themes wisely. Definitely a fruit themed room because I, I always like that set a lot. I just think it's fun and bright. Rain, sleet, snow, or hail will deliver what you nail. Oh. Thank you. And she says thank you to ruin the rhyme. And that's not sublime. Aha ha. Yeah, I got a couple more drop off, please. one yep that's it all right wait mike did you just get off work what you doing awake buddy or i guess i guess our time differences might be like vast now that i think about it like it just dawned on me like is it, is it one of your days off, or do you just happen to be awake right now? Huh. Well. That pretty much does it for our daily chores in the Anytown sphere. I am excited for that golden shovel tree, though. I, I should still have be on one of my days off when I do that stream, too. So I'll, like, I won't have to do it and then be like, oh, well, I guess I have to go to bed now. <laughs> Which is nice. I, I, I never really got it until I had to start trying to do it myself. And it's like, yeah, balancing a full-time work job. A full-time work job. What the... F wow. Can you, can you guys tell I'm tired? 
<laughs> I sure can't. Uh, balancing a full-time job while also trying to find time to sh like just stream freely is really rough. I understand. I, I knew, already knew it was. I'm, I've never been one of those people who's like, oh, there, there's time. You could just make time. I knew it. it until you feel it, it definitely feels a lot different. <laughs> you know, but I, I mean, I work 10-hour shifts five days a week. It, I shouldn't, but I do. And... Definitely trying to balance that and sleep for work is, is difficult. But that's not to say it's not rewarding when you finally do sit down and... I don't want to say crank out a stream because it sounds like disingenuous. But when you sit down and you, and you just flow into a stream. There you go. Oh, I need to go sell that, right? Other than that, yeah, we've got all our animals crossing thing. I might transition into starting our Pokemon then but I don't know how long I'll be going if I do uh, I did put out a Twitter poll and this is this is embarrassing but it's true uh, I put out a Twitter poll oh, for 24 hours asking hey sh what do you guys want to see because typically I have people who just vote on like anything I put out literally no one voted on it for the entire 24 hours it was out <laughs> so I, I have to make the choice so I'm probably going to go with, uh, I, I want to say Pokemon like Leaf Green because I'm less familiar with it, but I don't know. Pokemon Ruby has a soft spot in my heart. Pokemon Gold version. I love Pokemon Gold version because it was my very first video game I ever played slash owned. I don't want to say ever played. One of my cousins might have put like a Nintendo controller in my hand when I was little. Like when I, you know, like Sonic Player 2 kind of thing. Oh, more mail. Cleo. Oh, oh yeah. Great. I forgot. Every time I travel to the next door, there's just a chance someone will abandon us. Admiral? Excuse me? Okay, wait, so we lost Cleo. She was the blue horse. And we immediately got someone. Oh, you're cool. I don't remember you at all. You're cool, man. You look, you remind me of the dad from that 70s show. Especially when you do that face. <laughs> Say I I a lot. Literally, first day I've ever talked to you, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. You will say. What would an admiral say? Oh, I don't. I don't know how to spell it. I don't even know if I'd have room to spell it. Wait. There's no spell check. There's no spell check in Streamlabs OBS. Gosh dang it. I wanted, I wanted to make his uh his catchphrase indubitably. There's not enough room. Pretty sure there's not enough room. Uh I I can be uh He can say A skipper. Like an old man. Oh, I'll just make it Skipper then. Oh, the Skipper with a lowercase. Used to that? Yeah, it's not bad. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. I hope you don't move out of the town immediately the next time I go to the next door. Like, for real. Well, that... I guess, you know what? I actually need to do this so I don't get... So I don't not pay attention when talking to a villager again, and then all my money gets sapped. I'm gonna go ahead and just deposit some of that into my debt right now. Yep, yep, yep. I still owe a lot. Uh, I'm going to put up... Not all of it. Oh, this controller. There we go. 
I can just go ahead and put 50,000 in there. Nope, nope, that's everything. Sweet. Hmm, I might, you know what I might do? I might see, uh, I'm gonna be ending, wrapping up soon, actually. Like, real soon, like right now. <laughs> but, uh, I might take a break and then come back with Pokemon. That sounds good. Especially if I can find someone who would want to hang out, like, on call while we did it. Because I feel like that's, like, that, that's, like, the optimal way to play a game like that. Just, just shoot the shit with friends. We'll see. But, like, my eyes are starting to, like, actually burn from, like, being awake for so long. And Because when I'm at work, I'm staring at screens most of the time. Just, like... Well, that, and I'm, like, talking to customers running around. That, obviously, all that stuff, but... It's always so bright and fluorescent in that place. So, yeah. Uh, definitely just a bit of a utility... Sh not a utility. Why do I keep saying utility? I've said that so many times when I'm talking about it. It's been a very, like, objective, you know, daily chore kind of stream today. But, I don't know. I liked it. I was, like, having a little Animal Crossing time every day. Feels nice. At least close to every day. I know I've been falling out of it lately. Because of time constraints. But, it's real nice. Mm. But, yeah. I'll most likely be back later starting one of our new pokemon playthroughs i really don't know which one i want to do uh let me think really let me let me think this out now before i just like go you know go live with one and i'm like oh this is it i think okay i'm going to be playing pokemon leaf green i believe because it is definitely the Game Boy Advance ones. It is definitely the one that I know the absolute least. Because I did not play red or blue growing up. I was definitely a gold and above. Gold and silver and above. But I know that a lot of the Pokemon I like are in Gen 1. Regardless. So I'm going to try to make that work. So I've decided. So yeah, I don't know when I might take a nap. But I'll definitely be back later. And I'll most likely be playing pokemon if not i might roll into some don't starve and get a world going because i've also been wanting to play that i don't know but either way thank you guys for hanging out you know jello mike as always appreciate to talk to you guys especially you mike you're so darn elusive it always feels special when you pop your head in and you're like oh, hey i want to talk to bob it feels nice Thank you, lurkers, for hanging out. Hopefully I provided some good background noise for whatever you're doing in another tab or falling asleep to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's been fun. And I'll, see, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.